Hi everyone. I'm going to do a dramatic uh, blue and green look today. I'm going to call it Jewel Tone because it's going to be kind of intense. Um, I have already put on uh, primer, um, Lancome primer and my Bare Essentials Pressed Powder Foundation and NARS Oasis Blush in the contour area and um, I've also done um, Urban Decay primer on my lids so I'm going to get started on the eyes and the first thing I'm going to do is um, do a, an, another base even though I have primer on already this um, is a NARS color and it's called Carioca. Um, it's old. I've had it a long time. It's uh, it's like a metallic-y turquoise. I'm gonna just put it on with my finger. I'm, I could use a brush, but I'm gonna kind of put that all over. It's really just meant to be a base to make the colors pop a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so the first color I'm going to put on is a dark blue. And then my brushes, here we go. And the blue I'm going to put on is also a NARS color, um, called Rated R. I used this in the rainbow look I did. It's a royal blue. I'm, do I'm using a um, flat brush. Because I'm just going to kind of pack it on in the corner. Even though this is a very high quality color, it um it needs a little bit of packing on. Alright, um, and I'm also going to take this brush, this is a smudge brush so by Sephora, and just take a little of this blue right underneath in the outside corner. And then I'm going to just bring bring the colors out to meet each other. It's going to make a nice little triangle shape. I 
am going to put on, use green. And for this, I am using um, this Urban Decay palette. I've used this before. I like this. Um, it has in it. Uh, it has that graffiti color, which I also used in the rainbow look, but I have it also in the palette, and it's a very bright green. I'm going to put this with a, just a small eyeshadow brush in the corner, in our corner. And just as with the other color, just as with the blue, I'm going to take this green and put it on the inner corner of the lower lash line. And I'm bringing it in so it meets on this end. Okay. Good. Then I am also going to take the same, the same palette, this Urban Decay palette. And I'm going to use this color called Peace on a small brush and just come down the middle, blending the two together. with my smudge brush take my angled brush for the eye shaping and I'm going to take this little matte color it's called Sea and Sky it has this I guess I could have used this in the, but um, I like this kind of mix of colors in the top and I'm gonna go over the whole thing down into the crease. Actually, maybe I will use some of this dark blue to kind of touch up the corners just a little and then I'm just going to take this little um, nude beach color by Bare Essentials which is very very it's a shimmery, but it's very neutral. And I'm just going to do the highlight with that just so I don't have a harsh blue line. Alright, 
right, so next I'm gonna just, just for something a little fun, I could probably skip this step, but I'm gonna use MAC, that's so bright in here, Liquid Last Liner. This stuff is intense. It's like legit paint. I don't use this applicator because it's very goopy. So I'm just going to use a small brush. I'm going to line my eyes with this. There you go. See, it's very, very goopy. It's like hard to use, but it is a very cool color if you can kind of master it. All right, just to give it a little bit of fun dimension. And then, well, I'm giving that a minute to dry. I will, if I can find my trusty eyeliner, I will line my waterline in black, Urban Decay. I don't know if you can see, this stuff is so goopy it gets like in your eyelashes. And I'm going to take my tattoo liner and I'm just going to do from like the corner, from the middle out. Just in there. to curl my lashes. Mostly just to get some of the uh, blue off. See, it came off even there. It's definitely not an easy product to use. And then finally, I'm going to well, since it's a dramatic look, I will to a double mascara. So I'm just going to coat coat and then use the stiletto. amp up. Bobbi Brown lip liner. I actually think that Bobbi Brown makes the best lip products. I need the new Bobbi Brown lipstick. But 
but as you can imagine, it's hard to convince my husband that I need any more makeup. Just this blushing nude color over it. Okay, and that's it.